What camera gear should every YouTuber have? Where to start collecting your essential gear kit for a video shooting if you just started your channel? And what to choose if you want to improve your equipment but don't want to spend a lot of money on it? Let's find out! Hi, my name is Roman and this is Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making creator videos. Today I want to talk about 5 pieces of filmmaking gear that, in my opinion, every YouTuber should have. All of the items would be great to invest in if you don't have them yet. And what's even cooler, you don't need to invest large sums of money at all. Each option costs less than $50. So if you're interested in this topic, let's just get right into it. But first, give this video a huge like and subscribe to the channel, alright? Cool, we are ready to begin. As you probably know, sound is one of the most important parts of any video. I've already lost count how many times I've talked about this on this channel. Anyway, it wouldn't be too much to remind that sound in your videos should be of good quality without echoes or background noises. Actually, a lot of viewers today prefer to listen to YouTube instead of watching it and some channels even adjust to the podcast format because of that. That's why I suppose the first thing worth buying is a good microphone, because unfortunately microphones built into cameras never provide the best sound quality. When it comes to choosing an external mic, there are many different options, but I would recommend you to start with a lavalier microphone. And my personal favorite in this category would be Boya BYM1. It's really easy to use. You can click it onto your shirt and then plug it into a mic jack on your camera. It also works with smartphones. So there's a camera mode and there is also a smartphone mode, which is great. It means you can use it not only for YouTube videos, but also for Facebook Live, Instagram Live, etc. Plug it onto your phone if you want to create content on your smartphone and things like that. This microphone gives a very good sound for that money and it costs, by the way, 20 bucks or so. By the way, the actual prices can vary, so if you want to check them out, I'll put all the links for today's products in the description below, so definitely check those out. Before we continue talking about budget camera gear, I'd like to say that today's episode of the Movavi Vlog is sponsored by Skillshare. If you haven't heard about this platform before, I'll be happy to tell you more about it. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes on topics including filmmaking, photography, illustration, design, and more. Skillshare is a place where you can explore new skills, deepen exciting passions, and get lost in creativity. If you're a long-term subscriber to the Movavi Vlog, you probably already know our team believes that creating beautiful, engaging videos is something that almost anyone in today's world can do, because what's really important is experimenting and showing things from your personal perspective. That's why I recommend you check out the class called Low Budget Filmmaking Tips and Tricks for an Indie Look by Matty Brown. I've already watched all of these six lessons, by the way, and what I like most about this class is the idea of achieving an incredible creative look by very simple means. It's exciting and inspiring to see how easily urban footage can be turned into a whole story. Don't worry, I'm not gonna retell you the entire class. Just check it out yourself. You'll see how cool it is. Skillshare is created specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused on the things you like and follow whatever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So click on the link below to check out classes Skillshare has to show you. Enjoy! Ok, let's go back to our camera gear ideas. And the second thing that is definitely worth buying is a flexible compact tripod. Of course, at the very beginning of your vlogging journey, you can build book towers or create some other ways to secure and stabilize your camera. But if you want to make the vlogging process a lot more convenient, then you'll definitely need a stabilizer or a tripod. There are a lot of them out there, but I think you can start with something simple and not too expensive. And one of the coolest tools for vlogging is a Gorillapod. If you want to try this tool, I would recommend you Joby Gorillapod 1K. 
this is a pretty solid Gorilla Pod. 1K stands for 1 kilogram of weight payload, which is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. There's plastic on the legs here, mostly plastic through the actual mount itself. There isn't a quick release plate, so you have to basically screw your camera just on, but none of those things are a huge deal, actually. So in the end, this is a nice Gorilla Pod for just vlogging with a camera to give you some extra stabilization. No matter where you are, indoors or outdoors, in your room, in a coffee shop, in an airport or at a park. It gives you the chance to table mount your setup or even wrap it around a pole or a tree or things like that so you can create content. It's a good place to start if you ask me. Okay, the next thing you probably need to do is to take care of the lighting in your videos. Of course, at the very beginning, you can use light from your window while shooting your videos, and this is absolutely fine. But if you don't want to depend on sunlight or weather and want to be able to shoot at any time of the day, then you definitely need some lighting equipment. Buying a softbox or a whole lighting kit can be too expensive, so I recommend to start with something super simple. It could be a lamp that can be easily attached to your camera or to a special rack. For example, the newer 176 LED. This is a great light with a lot of pros. First of all, it's very cheap. It's about $24 now, I guess. It has large light output and DC power available, which is very nice, because not all lights do that. The light is very sturdy and it seems to be able to take a beating. Of course, you don't need to check it on purpose, but it's good to know that your camera light is not so easy to break. Then, the controls are very simple, so you don't even need to read the manual to know how this light works. Overall, it's a pretty good light to start with. I would definitely recommend this to anyone starting out on YouTube or filmmaking in general and looking for a cheap lighting setup. This one really has high output, which is what you want, and it's very cheap. Win-win! Alright, the next piece of filmmaking gear also has to do with light. Because additional lighting sources like lamps, garlands and even candles will make the picture more attractive if you use them properly, of course. In fact, on our channel there are some great video tutorials on how to make the background in your videos more attractive. I'll leave all the links down below. But today I want to talk about one particular light and it's LED tube light. It's less than 20 bucks on Amazon and it has different color temperatures. Originally, this one wasn't designed to capture video at all. It's just a backlight that can be placed in a dressing room or a closet, but ingenious YouTubers have discovered this device and now successfully use it when shooting their videos, and I have no doubt that these lights will be also perfect for beginners. Here you have a combined color temperature, and you can go from natural white light to more of a daylight white light or to warm light. This little LED tube is actually magnetic, so you can put the magnetic attachment that comes with this light, for example, on the back of your wall and use this as your background light. Actually, you can use the simple light in many different ways. And as I said before, this light is really cheap. So if you're looking for some extra lighting but don't want to spend a lot of money on it, this option will be awesome for you. So now we've got a nice mic, some stabilization for our camera, and a really cool lighting. Well, actually even these things would be enough for the very beginning. But if your budget allows you to do a few more purchases, here's my advice to you. Don't spend all your money on fancy stuff. Instead, I recommend you to buy some, let's call it extras. It could be a spare battery if you know that filming is going to take a while, or it could be an extra SD card for 32 gigabytes or more. Believe me, running out of battery and memory is what kills great shots too often, because even if you're loaded with top-level pricey gear, it all comes useless once your battery is dead and your SD card is full. So please forgive me that last boring item in my top 5 essential budget camera gear, but if you already got a decent mic, tripod and light and there's something left from your filming budget, try to spend it on spare memory or batteries. Ok, that was it for today's video, guys. There were my top 5 pieces of filmmaking gear that I think every YouTuber should have, and I hope this will be helpful for you. 
As I often repeat here on our channel and want to say it again, the content you produce is always more important than video quality. Because you could have the best video quality and the most expensive camera equipment in the world, but it won't mean anything if you don't have great content behind it. But at the same time, a lot of great content can be ruined by blurry and shaky video, rubbish audio or poor lighting. And I really hope that the gear I told you about today will help you make greater videos and spread your message. Thank you so much for watching. I will definitely put all the links to everything mentioned in this video in the description below. My name is Roman and I'll see you very soon. Bye!